Foster. It's the Calculated Stitcher, Jennifer. Um, today is <clears throat> Friday, December 13th. Um, I'm coming to you with my first, the 12 days of Christmas, the first day. So my, I have a giveaway every day for the next 12 days just to try to give back to um, a community that has done a lot for me. And so I'm very grateful and so I want to give back. Um, it's so funny because I have, I, I videoed right after my first video and then I ended up going to the Silver Needle and so it was too long and I felt like, well, I can't post it now because I've already been to the Silver Needle. So I didn't post that one. So then my third video ended up being my second video. Well, then I videoed again after my third video and guess what? I erased it. Who erases their videos? Well, apparently I do. So that one didn't get posted. And so now I'm all kinds of confused on what I've said and what I have not said. Um, so if I repeat myself, I'm very sorry. And I've put all of my haul and everything away. And so I don't know what I've shown you and what I haven't shown you, but we're just gonna give it a go and hope that this goes okay. Uh, I am coming from a different location. I am actually at my second job. I teach high school math. That's my primary job. In fact, here's my shirt today. It says, math teachers have problems. I kinda like that one. Um, but this is my second job. I work for a doctor and I do all the posting for the payments that come in from the insurance. So um, it's fun, it's numbers. I like to make things balanced so it works out well and I can make my own hours. So before I clock in and get to work, I thought I would go ahead and make the video now, which will be very good because I can never be alone at my house to make a video. So it's okay, we're gonna do it here. So kind of blah walls, cause really I don't have anything hanging in my office. So um, just a couple of things and then I'm just gonna do the giveaway and, and get to work. So um, I did have some haul, just a couple of things that have come in in the last few days, and I thought I would share them with you. I love, haul is my favorite, favorite part of everybody's videos because I like to, I more, if I had to pick one part of stitching that is my favorite, I would say um, getting everything and putting it together, all the organization and the planning. So I like to find the charts and find the right floss and the right linen and calculate how much linen I'm going to have to have and that's my favorite part of stitching. I do enjoy the stitching but um, that's just my favorite part. It's kind of like uh, in quilting. I love the measuring and the cutting and all of that and my mom likes the piecing so she says that we are a good combination. So anyway, uh, so I haven't shown very much on Instagram because I have been working on Christmas gifts and for my children and I can't post them because my children do follow me on Instagram. Now they don't know about my floss tube videos except for my daughter Kelsey. Uh, but so I can show them here but I can't show them anywhere else. So that's why I haven't posted anything. I haven't really had anything to post. But haul. So here's the first thing. This is a Sue Lintz needlework. And it's just called squares. Let me put this behind it. Maybe you'll be able to see it. Um, I love white work. And I loved pulled thread work. I'm not sure if that's focusing. Let me tap on the screen and it should focus. Oh, if I stand up, I can tell. So it's a three by three array. And I love this kind of work. And this one actually came, oh, let me push that to oh, this is back. It actually came all as a kit. So I bought it as a kit. And um, I just, I'm really excited. I don't know how to do it, but especially after watching Gary Parr um, the other day on Fiber Talk, and he did a lot of different, um, not just cross stitch, but it was all sorts of needle artwork and white work and um, pulled thread work are some of my favorites. In fact, I ordered a book called Portuguese White Work, Portuguese, I think that's what it was called, after watching that video because, oh, I was very excited about that. 
So that's my first piece of haul that has come in the last couple of days. I've also placed an order, is that my only thing? Uh, from Misty Purcell at Luminous Five Arts. And I love her linen. Love, 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 love her linen. So I got this one and it's 27 count macchi macchiato linda and it's a fat eighth and i have it's really not showing very well because this it's like fluorescent light it's just not very pretty um it is a beautiful beautiful neutral and i want to do a bunch of one over one i keep forgetting where to look i want to do a bunch of one over one and i thought this would be perfect for one over one work i just i don't know how she dyes her fabric but it is absolutely gorgeous then I watched her video and she said she had one more piece of this left in 46 count. And I love 46 count, 40 and 46 count. Uh, it's called Jolly Green and it's on 46 count linen. And it's a little greener than that. It's kind of showing up blue, but it, I mean, it has a little bit of blue. It is absolutely beautiful. And there is a piece and I can't remember what it's called and she did it. It's the one with the big cardinal on it, and I can't. And I know I own it, and I have all of my charts on a spreadsheet, and I have them by alphabetical order, and I have them by designer in alphabetical order, in um, containers that I own. And um, but for some reason I can't remember. I think it may be a blackbird design that's in a book. Anyway, Misty, if you watch this one, if you'll let me know which book it's in. Or the name of the pattern because that's what I wanted to start this on that was supposed to be my birthday start my birthday was December 3rd and I wanted to start it on this um, but I didn't have the color I didn't have this color and when I saw Misty's on this something that was similar to this I knew that that's what I wanted to do it on so I didn't get to start it on my birthday so it's gonna be my Christmas start instead of my birthday start um, but Misty Purcell is the sweetest thing and when I told her that I was going to start, it was supposed to be for my birthday start, she sent me, for my birthday, a thread card. Isn't that the cutest thing? Vintage stitches. and has a place where I can put my needle. There's a magnet right here. And then on the back, it has a ruler. I love this. Absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Misty. It is absolutely perfect it is absolutely perfect i love it i love it love it love it so that's some of my haul oh i also did i also bought when teresa vanette showed some ribbon that she had gotten at hobby lobby and she was going she thought cross stitching would be good and ended up she used it to tie the ribbons on some of our uh goodies at the retreat at the silver needle so she probably kept some too to cross stitch on I thought, wow, that is an ingenious idea. And so I happened to be at Walmart and I found this ribbon, which to me looks like banding. Isn't that wonderful? And so I would love to cross stitch on this and it's tiny. I need to measure it and see. I'm guessing it's probably maybe, it would be probably about 45, maybe 46. I don't know, but I'm gonna measure it. I'll let you know. But I thought that would be really, really cute to put some um, cross stitch on. I, I bought some banding that I wanted to do cross stitch on. And I think I showed it in the video that I erased, deleted off my phone. So um, in case I did, I may show it another time. But I would like to do some projects with some banding. Uh, I think they're really cute on the spools. Um, also, what I've been working on, it is basketball season. I have been attending basketball for the last 18 years of my life, basketball games for my children. Uh, my husband is a basketball coach, and so therefore all of my children have played basketball. And um, so I can't sit, I'm not good at sitting and doing nothing. So, and I hear people say that a lot, and I love that, I always thought that I was just weird, I guess, because I needed something in my hands to do and um but it's nice to know that most of us are like that and i'm not alone i just i love this community so anyway one of the things i work on 
and I've been working on for, I guess, about the past eight years I started it during basketball games, and I only work on it during basketball season, is I do English paper piecing. And the one that I'm doing is called Grandmother's Flower Garden, and I have a um, star one that some of the ladies from the that went to the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat um, picked up the pattern, and I have one like that, but it's I'll, sh I'll show you the next time that I can um, bring it with me. I just grabbed the closest one that I could. And so this is the one I was working on. I punched these hexagons out. So mine's going to be Grandmother's Flower Garden. And um, I actually have a, uh, like a hole punch. But I'm trying to make it focus on the hexagon. <laughs> I'm telling you, this lighting is not the best. Anyway, so it just, I use um, male circulars. Like, see, you can tell that it's like some cardstock thing I got in the mail. And so I just punch a bunch of these out. And then I have little applique needles. And I just put it on there. And all I do is I fold this over. And I fold this over. And then I take a tacking stitch. I know some people use glue sticks. I don't like the glue stick method. I just like to do it this way. So this is what the back of mine looks like. Come on, focus on this. Yeah, I'm better at this at home, I've decided. <laughs> I'll get it. There we go. Okay, so the stitches can be ugly because nobody's going to see them. They're going to be in the back of the quilt. So that's what the tacking stitches look like. So then what I do is then I sew them together like this. And so this is what it looks like on the back. So you see the tacking stitches and then I just do little tiny whip stitches all the way across. And all you need to do is fold it and whip stitch so it doesn't hurt to fold it. And then once they're all surrounded, you have one that is surrounded all six sides, this one just pops out. I need my needle, I usually do it with my needle. And it just pops right out like that. And you can take it out because you don't have to have that to hold this, uh, to make it stable anymore. And then it looks like this. Then I take them and I sew them together. This is one that I'm in the middle of sewing together right here. Uh, I am embroidering the centers of the green flowers. I'm not a good embroideress. I'm not sure if that's the right word. I'm not good at embroidery. I wish I was. My mother is, it's, is, is, well, she just does everything well. Um, anyway, I would like, I hope to get better one day. Anyway, so I just whip stitch along and I just keep folding it. And I'd fold it right here and I'd stitch down here. And I stitch them together. And then this, oops, is what I have so far. So this is what it looks like. I'll stand up so I can see. This is what, this is all I have. So it's just right now, just like a long skinny strip. Eventually, it's going to be a quilt, and you can see just different. I was just making things up to embroidery. That's what's in the white circles, and then the flower circles are right there. And then I just stitch them all together. And so one day it will be, look that back, it will be a quilt. I told my kids it's going to be like my 50 year quilt because. That's, it may take a while. One day when I retire, have grandkids that I can just sit around and watch them play and stitch all day. That would be, that's my dream. That's my dream. Um, then I had to finish uh, the, one of the projects that Teresa did at our uh, retreat workshop. I don't know what to call that. Um, I've never been to either, so I'm not sure what she would refer to this one as. But she did three projects, and if you watch her last video, she goes through the three of them. And I can't remember if I if the, I went through it. It's the one I deleted or the one I posted. I don't know. But here, I did finish this one. This one is the book. It's going to go inside the paper mache book that we made. And it says the book, the needle, and the pen. And it's really cute. I had so much fun with this. I'll zoom it out. So it's going to be put inside a book. So that was my finish. Then I have also been working on 
um, a stocking for Ashley, who my second oldest, he and Ashley are having a baby. And um, so I'm making a stocking for her. I made stockings, my grandmother made a stocking for me. And it was made out of um, felt, like the craft felt, not like the felted wool felt, but just the craft felt, I should say. My mother tried to explain to me that felt is the process, it's not really the fiber. And I was like, okay, mom, thank you. But um, so this is what hers is going to look like right there. And I've been in the process of working on it. So there's her name that I embroidered at the top. Hasn't been stitched on yet, so it's just pinned. And then I'm working, oh, this is all I have right now. So it's all drawn on there where you place all of them and then the others you just cut out and you sew the beads and the sequins on. And so like, for example, here's my son, Cody. He's my oldest. Here's the one I made for him, and he's 28. Wow, yeah, he's 28. He's 28, my baby. This is Caleb, he's the one that's having the baby. That's Caleb's. Here is Kaylee's. And they're fun to make. I mean, they're not fancy at all, but I enjoy them. This is Kelsey, she's the twin. She and Kay Kaylee are my twins. I love this elephant's ear and this tail on the camel. And then my baby, who's 16, this is Kyler. So now, I have a new daughter, if you will, and so I'm making her a stocking, because this is gonna be the first Christmas, Christmas, okay, these braces are driving me crazy. Can I just say, um, the first Christmas that she will actually spend with us, because last year she spent with her own family, which is understandable, it's, I'm just so thankful. When you have five kids, and I guess even if you don't have five kids, Every year that all of us are together at Christmas, I just try to sit there and try to soak it all in and um, enjoy every minute of it because I know it could be the l l last one for a while because once they all start getting married and having kids of their own and I mean, then there's two families. I can't be selfish and expect all five of them at my house every year for Christmas. I would not mind though. But I understand that you have to share, and but I just, I, I'm so excited that this year all five of them will be home, and um, um, Thursday I'll have everybody but my two oldest. Now my oldest, he lives about 10 minutes away from us, 10, 15 minutes, um, so we see him quite a bit. Um, but then the only one after Thursday that I'll be missing is Caleb, Caleb and Ashley. So I'm just really excited. And I think they're going to be here almost a whole week. And it's just, it's going to be, it's just going to be wonderful. So anyway, um, I didn't even check my sound. I sure hope you can hear me. Then the last thing I was going to show you. Okay, let me, sh t uh, one of my viewers who I forgot to write down the name and I didn't get her permission. So I probably shouldn't say her name anyway. But she told me because I have the um, Blackbird series that I was that I showed in my last video that I posted, and she said, "Oh, just so you can know that Olivia at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts is starting a sew along in January because I, I showed I have a one whole piece of linen and uh, all the charts, and I bought the purchased the floss for the first I think three." patterns because it's expensive so I purchased for the first three and um, so the viewer told me that Olivia was doing a so a stitch along stitch along uh, starting January 1st and so I thought oh that sounds good so I started went over and started watching her well I've watched almost all of her videos now and I love her so if you're not watching um, Olivia at pumpkin hollow quilts then you should go watch her but she shows some of the quilts that she has completed. And I thought, well, I can, I'll do that, you know? And so the only, I just grabbed this one because it was the closest one on the way out. I grabbed it off my son's bed. 
um, my youngest child has twin beds in his room and so I made two quilts for him and his room is green. So, um, and I like my style, I like reproduction fabrics. I like fabrics that look like they're from the 1800s and I like fabrics that look like the 1930s feed sacks. Now, I don't like the feed sack, they call it feed sack fabric, but it just looks like little kid fabric. That's not the kind of fabric I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fabric that actually looks like the, the feed sacks were made out of. And I think because their colors were somewhat similar to what we use for children nowadays, that that's the way designers have kind of gone. But um, anyway, so those are my favorites. So I made his out of fabric I had. I let them pick out the patterns, but he is my child who's like, it doesn't matter, Mom, whatever you want to do. So um, this is just one that I made on EQ, which is electric quilts. And so it's all made out of Civil War fabric. And I don't know if this is as far back as I can get, which I think is good because you can almost see the whole thing. But this is what it looks like. It has a, a border and then it's bound in green. And then this is what the backing looks like. So this is his quilt. And I did quilt this. I quilted this on a long arm. I rent time on the long arm at our local quilt shop. So that is my quilt that I was going to share with you today. Oops, sorry, I'm coming back. All right, so I think that's everything. Just a quick little update. Uh, the Each of the following videos that I'm going to do giveaways, they won't be this long because I'll just be showing you what maybe I got something in the mail or something or a quick, hey, this I finished or which I don't think because we're getting into finals week, which gets really, really busy and hectic because everybody's worried about passing. You know, they always wait to the last week. And then um, basketball, we are full blown tournament time in December. We go to three tournaments, which means they play four days out of the week, which is always so much basketball. I just can't even, I'm so tired of basketball. I used to like basketball, but I just, yeah, it's okay. I go, I cheer, I, I'm good. Now I do stitch while I'm cheering, but <laughs> okay. So this is how this is gonna work. I've never done a giveaway before. So I'm hoping that this works. Um, I'm going to have a giveaway every day. And then I started thinking, well, how, what about if somebody doesn't know that I posted? I need to give them some time because I thought, well, I could draw the next day. But that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be fair. So then I was trying to think, okay, well, 12 days of Christmas, 12 is divisible by two, three, four, six. You know, I was trying to come up with. And so then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do on the sixth of the day um, I'm going to do I, the drawing. So, well, technically I'll do the drawing then on the fifth day and um, announce them on the sixth day. Or I guess I'll draw, I'll draw, here we go. I'll make this. I'm going to draw the morning of the sixth day. So that would be the 18th, which is Wednesday. Is that right? Hold on, let me make sure. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. So Wednesday morning, I'm going to draw for the first five. Yes, I will draw for the first five next Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th. Let me say it again. <laughs> if I knew how to edit, I would edit all of that out. But I don't know how to edit. And in fact, on the last video, I couldn't even remember how to get the description in the description box. So mine's blank. I'm going to try better. Okay, so I'm going to have a giveaway every day from now until the 24th of December. Um, my first drawing, I'm going to draw for the first five days of Christmas on Wednesday morning. And so when I post Wednesday evening for the sixth day, I will announce the winners. And then if you're a winner then you'll just email me. 
But see, here's another problem. My email is through my school. Well, I don't think I should give out my school email. So when I started my own YouTube channel, I had to make another email. So I have to go figure out what that email is. But I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the description box. And that's another thing. If anybody ever emails me from YouTube, I wouldn't know because I never go check that email. I've got to get better about that too. It's kind of like comments. Um, since it is linked to my other email, if I don't have, if I'm not in that one, then I don't get the messages. I have to actually go check and I forget to go check. And um, so I have to have my school one up because if the principal or the superintendent needs to get a hold of me, I, um, I need to have it so it comes up on my phone right away. So anyway, but uh, that was just a bunch of rambling and I was doing so well until then, I think. So one more time. Giveaway every day. Wednesday, I will draw and announce the first five. Now here's, people are always like, I wanna get them all done at one time because I have to go to the post office. Well, where I live, they don't deliver mail. It's out in the middle of nowhere. So I have to go to the post office every day anyway to pick my mail up. So it's it'll be mailed right away uh, as soon as you let me know. And we'll, I'll tell you that on Wednesday, how you, how you get in touch with me. So. Oh my gosh, that was a whole bunch of bam and giveaway. This is the one that I picked out. And these are all charts that I bought, of which I bought two. Excuse my grammar there for a second. I'm going to take it out of the thing. This is Plum Street Samplers Vintage mm, Heritage Sampler. Heritage Sampler. Let me push the button so it will. I'm sure most of y'all have seen this and most of y'all probably even own it. It's not wanting to. I'm pushing the, there it goes. I love this. I love it so much. I bought two. So that's what I'm doing. I cleaned out a bunch of my stitching stuff and, and my quilting things. So some of my giveaways will be quilting related also. And I thought there's no reason to have two. And so I might as well share them with somebody who would want them. Um, so if you would like to have this. If you want to be put into the drawing, then just mention Heritage Sampler. I didn't come up with a question or anything. Um, don't say giveaway. Don't say free. All the things. Be 18 or have your parents' permission. I will ship out of the country. I, it doesn't matter. I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure I can go to the post office and ask our postmaster. He'll let me know. Um, what else do I need to say? You don't have to be a scribe, subscriber. You don't have to like. I, you know, if you if you love it and you want to stitch it, then enter away. Um, I think that's about all I have to say right now. Now I gotta get to work. So uh, again, I appreciate all the sweet comments. I appreciate um, just the loving way in which I've been welcomed into this community. Even though I feel like I sound like an idiot sometimes, like a babbling idiot, um, I do appreciate everybody being so kind. And that's about it. So, as I tell my students, please be kind to one another and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> How are y'all today? Hello, Mama. Uh -huh. Come here, Calvin. Let me see, Calvin. Hello, Big Mamas. How are y'all today? Hello, little baby. Oh, some of y'all are about to have babies. Where's the new baby? I don't see Calvin. Yeah, you're gonna make her mad. No. Come on, you're making him mad.